one of the many special places that you're shown in Jerusalem is uh, a room called the Cenacle. Traditionally, it's the site not just of where Jesus had the Last Supper with his disciples, but also of Pentecost, the coming of the Holy Spirit, when those same disciples were driven out into the street full of the Holy Spirit and joy and excitement at the good news. Of course, the upper room, as it, as it appears now, is almost certainly extremely different from how it would have been at the time, either of the Last Supper or of, of Pentecost. But there is still that sense of being in the place where the Holy Spirit affected that huge transformation of all of those people. So there's a, an excitement to that. In terms of the Bible, the Pentecost story, the coming of the Spirit, the gift of tongues, provides a sort of counterpoint to the Old Testament myth of the Tower of Babel, where humanity is confounded by being given lots of different languages as a lesson against pride. I like to think of Pentecost, the ability to communicate again, as an encouragement to service. We have good news, we have a joyous message to share with the world in what we say and indeed in what we do, because the ability to communicate in tongues, in different languages, is not just about speaking, of course, but it's also about hearing and about understanding, about listening to where people are so that we can share their story and bring good news into it by the grace of God. This year on Pentecost, I'm going to be conducting a confirmation at Nether Seal, and I'm looking forward to that as I always do to confirmations. Confirmation is about the gift of the Spirit, the gift of that power to communicate, to live the good news publicly in word and deed. And so as those people come for confirmation, the gift of God's Holy Spirit through the laying on of hands and by the prayers of the church, they, in a sense, will be back there in that cenacle, in that upper room, uh, experiencing Pentecost for themselves, which is the, the outworking of what begins at their baptism and continues throughout their lives and on into eternity with God.